Hi there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. What is a computer program? In this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of programming and how we use programs to talk to computers. A computer program is a set of instructions that a computer executes. Just like in a recipe, we provide the computer with input information and the steps to perform a certain task. If all the instructions are followed in the correct order, the computer will output exactly what we want. For example, if I want to make a birthday cake, I start by gathering all the ingredients and the measuring cups, or input information. I then follow the instructions to measure and mix and bake, and if I follow those steps exactly, I'll end up with a perfect birthday cake. Now computers can't make assumptions, which means we need to provide every single step and decision. For example, if I tell you to walk forward, you're going to have some questions for me. Like, how far do I walk? How big of steps do I take? What happens if I run into something? When you're programming a robot, you have to think about all of these different elements, or something might not work the way you thought it would. But how do computers understand what we type? To understand that, we have to go back and look at early forms of computers. The first device that could be programmed to follow a set pattern of instructions was actually the Jacquard loom, first demonstrated in 1801. This machine used paper cards with holes punched in them to determine what pattern should be woven on a loom. In the 1800s, a man named Charles Babbage was interested in how the loom works. He used the idea of storing programs on cards to design a mechanical computer. His first design, called the Difference Engine, was a computational machine that could calculate complicated mathematical solutions using wheels and gears. He then took the idea of punch cards and designed the Analytical Engine which also included branching logic, loops, and memory. A woman named Ada Lovelace worked with him, and she wrote the first algorithm, or specified set of instructions, which is now recognized as the first ever computer program. Once electronic computers were invented, lots of innovation and programming started to happen. In the 1950s, Admiral Grace Hopper came up with an idea to translate between what computers did and a higher level programming language that looked closer to English, like what we use with Blockly or RoboScratch. We call this translation software a compiler. Fun fact, Grace Hopper and her team actually found a moth stuck in part of their computer, which was causing issues. This led to the term computer bug being used to describe something going wrong in a computer program. When we debug, it's like we're removing moths that are stuck in our computers. Programming is an essential part of robotics. Watch more episodes to see how you can create your own programs in Blockly and RoboScratch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you could create a program that could do anything, what would it be? Tell us in the comments. Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.